All right, guys, I'm going to show you some basics of hammer, how to learn hammer at home. During this pandemic, a lot of you guys were constrained to your basements or your backyards, so you didn't have access to the field. Yeah, but even if you did, there's so few coaches and places you can throw hammer in high school in the U.S. But in college, everybody throws, every school throws it, right? So what you can do while learning in high school, while you're home, before you get to college, if you don't have access to a good hammer coach in high school, you can do some footwork, some basics. I'm gonna show you today how to do that. One thing that we need is a stick or PVC pipe. And another thing that you need is your feet and the flat surface. I'm gonna show you how to do proper footwork, like I said, at home or your basement. And do that if you can a couple times a week ideally for a couple of years before you go to college at least a couple of months before you go to college when you get access to that coach and hammer ring actually so let me show you how you can start so we have our stick now this is a pvc pipe you can get in any lowe's or home depot and you need a chalk like i said flat surface as well chalk for marking straight lines on the ground we're going to measure about two feet doesn't have to be exactly two feet and we're going to do a parallel maybe three parallel lines. So this is one, let's say this is two, this is the third one. The reason we need this is when we do the turns, when we do the turns, we want to do them as parallel as we can. You'll see a lot of videos of those hammer thrower girls and guys on Olympics. They go really fast and they go almost the same spot with their feet. This is what we want to learn before we get into the ring with the actual hammer. So what you can do is just hold the PVC pipe in front of you. You don't have to do all the fancy up and down. For now, this is the first thing you gotta do. Hold the pipe in front of you, squat a little bit on your feet, and just turn on your heel and then on your toes and land with your right foot at the same spot. So we're gonna turn on your heel, left heel, land here on the side, not flat, on the side of left foot, and turn around parallel as much as we can that's why we need this line to see where we are compared to the line and then again same thing on your heel as you can see my heel turns and my toe turns on the right foot so left heel turn toe turn on the right foot around and then we land parallel and then we do that again toe turn heel turn what you want to do on this turning foot is make sure you're not turning straight that you're turning a little bit on the side and when you land you're not going to turn flat here and then go around you're going to go a little bit on the side of your foot like this side and then you're going to turn a little bit on the side so all the time turning you will be turning on edge of your feet so on the edge of your left foot if you're right-handed you're going to be turning on edges so around pipe in front of you, around, lane, and then you stop, and then you reset and do it again, turn, flat, and you do that enough times. Once you conquer turning one turn at the same spot, you're going to do it continuously. So, one, two, parallel, three, parallel, that's why we have this line. So do that enough times, I would say three times a week, maybe 50, 60 times. This is not very hard on your body, so you can do it uh, for, for an hour. So the first thing that you can do is the full work and make sure you're doing it in parallel enough times that you conquer it. Once you're comfortable with your full work, then we're gonna work with the orbit a little bit. And for the most important thing for the orbit in a hammer is that the hammer is the lowest at the back of the ring and the highest in the front of the ring towards the field where we're going to release so here is the lowest we go down up here and then as soon as we hit 12 o'clock it starts going down so the hammer is always going up towards the field and it's going down to the back of the ring down to the back of the ring and back up down up down so the hammer is always going in this direction never like this all right or any other direction it's always going down in front of the ring and up from the front of the ring to the back so down up here 
down and back up, down. All right. So with the PVC pipe, we can do this, down. So those are the two things that you can do at home in terms of hammer throwing before you get to college. Do a lot of drills of parallel turns. First with the PC pipe, just down at the same spot. And then once you conquer that, you turn the PVC pipe and follow the orbit of hammer being low when it's in front of you, when it's in the back of the ring, and being tall, high when you're facing the sector. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So, if you had to pick two things to work on before you get to college, it would be the full work and the orbit. And you can do it, that with a simple tool for a long time before you come to college, like I said, and you have access to your coach and to the field and to the hammers, and you can throw far and prosperous. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Share it with the people that you think might benefit from this video. I'll see you guys soon.